What's up guys? So the Super NES Classic Edition came out and guess what? I'm already going to start talking about maybe a possibility of the N64 Classic Edition. Nintendo has registered a trademark for a controller for a design very very similar to what you see here for the N64 controller and Nintendo did that last year with the NES release for this design so that can only mean an N64 Classic Edition I think so let's see guys I'm gonna go through 30 games I know it might only be 20, but I'm going to go through 30 games that could definitely, probably, possibly be on the N64 Classic Edition. Wow, that just sounds so weird saying. So let's see, let's check out the games that I think will be on that possible Classic Edition. Thanks for watching, guys. Alright guys, so again, gonna go ahead and just start talking about the N64 Classic Edition. At least I hope it's coming out. No confirmation. And, you know, Nintendo will probably announce its release later in 2018. Like they did with the Super NES Classic Edition. So I just thought it'd be fun to maybe go through 30 games that I think could definitely be on the N64 Classic Edition. I'm rolling through my head. NES Classic, Super NES Classic. So here we go. So just no brainers here. Zelda, Ocarina of Time. And that's that's like a no brainer. Zelda's gonna sell any, any Nintendo product, in my opinion. Majora's Mask, you gotta have, if you're gonna have that, you're gonna have that. In my opinion, they go hand in hand, and yet, ooh, I got the special edition. And they're fun games, obviously, great games, a lot of content, a lot of hours there. <laughs> uh, let's just get to the cartridges. I, I own the boxes to a lot of these, some of these I don't. Super Smash Brothers. This would be cool because, I mean, come on, it's Smash Brothers. This is going to sell it. I mean, it just it just makes sense. And it was so popular back in the day and a lot of fun. And we'll talk about four controllers. What what would they do? I mean, uh, Pilot Wing 64 would be a good choice. This was a release title. A lot of fun here. A lot of content. And, yeah, I mean, it's a glorified tech demo. But I love the game. It's great. It's underrated. Paper Mario. So this would be a continuation of... Let me see my labels are all messed up. Uh, this would be a continuation of, you know, Super Mario RPG that came out on the SNES Mini. Yoshi's Story. Although I don't like it as much as I used to, or it's not even as good as um, Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo. But it would it would be a, you know, playthrough, especially, you know, if you played uh, that yarn game on the the Wii U, what's it called? Yoshi's Yarn. You know, tell me what it's called, guys. I can't remember the name of it. But if you were, if you liked that series, like that game, you would like this for sure. F Zero X, my favorite in the series. Oh, so much fun. Now, what would be cool? And this is a side thought. Kind of how they did the plus Star Fox. You know what would be cool is. If basically they released one of those HDD games that never came out to America, 
and the add-ons to this would be a lot of fun. Who knows? That'd be a, an added bonus. More games. Star Fox 64. It, duh. Duh. <laughs> that would be on there. Uh, Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. Quite possibly the most boring Kirby game out there. Ugh. Not my favorite, but again, Kirby is super, super popular. And yeah. Now, I, I have all three of these. Mario Party 2, I'm going out of order. Mario Party 1, and I have three there I'll show as well. But these would sell the system as well. Mario Party 10 wasn't that great, but the series as a whole is super, super popular still. So it makes sense, right? Uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. I also have Stadium 1 over there too, and I love this cartridge, by the way. Oh man. So, I mean, Pokemon's gonna. My gosh. I mean, you think how fast this thing sold. Whew. You, you put Pokemon on there? Speaking of Pokemon, Pokemon Snap. Kind of an underrated game for its time. I, I enjoyed this game back in the day. Now, these are some third party games that I think could be on the system. And. You know, they, they got to have some third-party games on there, right? So, Mystical Ninja, starring Goemon. Uh, one of my all-time favorite 64 games, by the way. Cruising USA. Not Cruising World. Um, not Cruising Exotica. I think this would be the one to go with. This is the most classic one that is probably the most popular. NFL Blitz. Now there wasn't a sports game on the Super NES Classic Edition. I that's one of the mistakes that I think it made. It could have got like a Tecmo Bowl or, or some you know some kind of sports game. At least one Ken Griffey you know baseball something like that. It would have been good, uh, but I think this would be you need to have it. Now I didn't include any of the wrestling games, but. You know, if I had to pick one wrestling game, it would be WCW vs. NWO Revenge. That would be my pick. Or uh, WrestleMania 2000. Bomberman Hero, or one of the Bomberman games. I don't have Second Attack yet. Or is it just Bomberman 64? I can't remember. So, one of the three. Now, this, this is kind of a pipe dream. I don't know. I don't know. If Disney would even allow it. But. Rogue Squadron. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. And I have one more Star Wars game too. Just because. Anytime I think of 64. It's one of the games that I always go. Man I played that back in the day. But this is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Alright let's get to the boxes now. Pokemon Stadium. Again. Pokemon would sell it, and this is a bigger box, by the way. Came with the transfer pack. Mario Golf. It's pretty fun. I enjoy it. I, I like the GameCube one a lot better. Donkey Kong 64. Now, this one might be difficult to get a hold of, but Donkey Kong Country came out on the Super NES Classic. This one should come out, too. Yeah, Rare, Wear... They had the license. Uh, Torok 2, my box is a little beat up. Torok 2, anytime I think 64, this is one of the games I think of. And then Torok 1. This, oh, man, I have so many good memories of this game. Playing it. Uh, Blast Core. Now that's, eh. I forgot it was a Rareware game. So it, this probably wouldn't come out. Uh, it's a ton of fun, but anytime I think 64, this is one of the games I'm like, man, you got to play it. So that one might be a pipe dream as well. And just a few more here. Of course, of course, Super Mario 64. It, it's like Super Mario World or the Mario Trilogy. You're going to have it. You're going to have it. I mean, come on. 
Uh, this might be the pipe dream too. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, but anytime I think 64, again, this game always comes up. It's a great game. Mario Kart 64, again, a no-brainer. You... This... My gosh, this would be a system seller. For sure. Mario Tennis. This is my favorite Mario Tennis game. It, it's a lot of fun. I actually like the Game Boy Advance one. It's, it's a lot of fun as well. But this is where the series started. Uh, actually, that's not true. It started on the Virtual Boy, I guess. And then a couple more here. Uh, Wave Race 64. Oh, such a good series. They need to resurrect this series. The last one came out on the cube. And then Mario Party 3, like I said, I this is the only one I had the box and manual and everything for. So, yeah, those are my 30 games. Um, I'm going to forget to show off my Japanese Mario Kart. Yeah, that's cool. That's a side note. So, just just some final thoughts here and I'm, I'm done. So, would it come out? I... I think it will because, I mean, this thing and this thing, the NES Classic Edition, have exceeded Nintendo's expectations and and then some. So I, I really think that they will end up doing it. Just some, I don't know, some hindrances. You know, the four ports, four controllers, it's going to get a little expensive. I mean, that might pack in two controllers. I don't know. It, it's going to get expensive. I could see the thing costing... I mean, they're probably only going to do 20 or 21 games like they did with this thing. Or they might even do 15. Who knows? I mean, not a lot of people... I kind of pulled on one of my video game pages. Not a lot of people are like, man, this is... Oh, man, I really, really, really want this. And there's like, yeah, maybe five games I'd play or, you know, kind of like the Rareware situation. Like Goldeneye, I don't, you, you didn't see Goldeneye on this list. You didn't see Perfect Dark on this list. So, or Killer Instinct Gold. Yeah. I mean, there's some games that will not be on this because of Microsoft and Rare. So, you know, those are a few things, you know, a few, eh, do I really want this thing? And, I mean, I do want it. But, would it be as good as this? I mean, there's, there weren't a whole lot of omissions or, you know, games that were just obviously left out because of legal reasons or whatever. Um, but let me know what you guys think. What games do you want if there was announced an N64 Classic Edition? What games would you want on it? I mean, would you even want this thing? Are you excited? for the possibility that the trademark is out. And hey guys, please subscribe to me if you have not. That's going to put you in the running for a Super NES Classic Edition from me. The contest ends Friday, October 6th. So make sure you subscribe. That's all you have to do. Guys, I'm giving it away out of the kindness and the love from my heart for you all. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.